thanks for checking out my video. Freighter Chris here with All Things Esoteric. Today I wanted to talk about a fun, quirky, strange little novel called The Chemical Wedding of Christian Rosenkreutz. This is a new version of an old book. This, this book was published by John Crowley in 2016, and the original was, was published anonymously in 1616, so 400 years ago. This author, John Crowley, has breathed new life into the story. He's modernized a lot of the language, rewritten the poetry, and added some contextual notes. The, the author describes the book as being in the context of no context, where he's, he's removed this Rosicrucian context that this book comes from, and, and until very recently, this, this book was not available. It, it was available like in the public domain, but when it was available, it was usually with these other Rosicrucian books, and the only people who were really reading this book were Rosicrucians. And, and the point that John Crowley's trying to make in, in publishing this new 2016 edition is that this book is, is, is a great little novel. It's able to stand alone and stand on its own. It's good enough to do that. And I, I guess this book is sold pretty well. It's available at most bookstores, so if you go into your local Barnes & Nobles this weekend, uh, they should have a copy of this on the shelf. It's also available from Amazon, and it's available on Audible, so you can listen to the, the author John Crowley read the book. And your first book on Audible is always free, so if you download the Audible app for Android or iPhone, then, then your first book is always free, and this would be a really great choice. You can pick up the ebook. I think it's maybe seven or eight dollars, and this this paperback's only eleven dollars, and probably a little cheaper if you pick it up on Amazon. So this is a story of Christian Christian Rosenkreutz. He receives this invitation to a wedding, a very strange and dreamlike, fun, easy read, and there's all manner of bizarre things that happen in the story. It's difficult to tell sometimes where the dream sequences end and where they begin. All these attendees of this chemical wedding, first they must be weighed, and then they perform these alchemical operations to help birth a new king and queen. Uh, there are a lot of similarities to the to some of the imagery in the book Alice in Wonderland. The story takes place over, over seven days, and these seven days represent the seven different stages of alchemy. Throughout the book, Christian Rosenkreutz is an unlikely hero, constantly doubting himself, and yet always seems to get out of these sticky situations that he finds himself in. I don't want to spoil the story because the purpose of my video is to get you to read the book, but some Rosicrucians may not be aware of this new edition, and a lot of the readers, I'm sure, are not readers of this book, maybe aren't aware of some of the history and some of the Rosicrucian history and context that this book comes from. Some of the themes explored in this book are moral values, fraternity and brotherhood, humility, uh, dealing with the unexpected, reward and punishment, and this is, is, is a social commentary of its time. And, and what's very curious is that, is that it's, as, as a social commentary, it's just as relevant today as it was 400 years ago when it was published. So I'd like to just talk about a little bit of the, some of the history and the context of this book, and again, encourage you to pick this up at your local bookstore. So from the, from the introduction here, the Chemical Wedding by Christian Rosenkreutz was published in Germany in 1616, though it probably circulated in manuscript for some time before that. It was presented as the work of a person named Christian Rosenkreutz, or Christian of the Rose Cross, a mysterious magus who died at the age of 106 in 1484 after a lifetime of traveling the world, being inducted into the wisdom societies of several lands and forming his own secret society of wise brothers. Ever since, these brothers of the Rose Cross have gone about the world healing illness and doing good without our recognizing their presence among us. That, at any rate, was the story told of him in two pamphlets that appeared, also without any author, just before the chemical wedding was published. The pamphlets demanded or promised a universal reformation, announced that human knowledge was about to take a vast leap forward, and predicted the fall of many states and kingdoms. These little books, plus The Chemical Wedding, which is a very different affair, became the foundation of what has ever been no after been known as the Rosicrucian phenomenon, or movement, or scare, or hoax. So, so he, he talks about The Chemical Wedding by Christian Rosenkreuz being the third Rosicrucian manifesto, and the, the first Rosicrucian manifesto was published in 1614, and that's called the Fama Fraternitatis, or the Fame of the Fraternity. 
and the second Rosicrucian Manifesto was published the following year in 1615, and that was called the Confessio Fraternitatis, or the Confession of the Fraternity. And the third Rosicrucian Manifesto was called The Chemical Wedding of Christian Rosenkreutz. And, and these three books were published anonymously, and they, they created quite a stir at that time. And there were, there were many, many people that had written responses to the Fama Fraternitatis, also asked, asking to, be, uh, to join the, the Brotherhood of the Rose Cross, and, and, and they, they didn't receive any response, and, and that was uh, very curious. So the uh, Rosicrucian Brotherhood may have existed or may not have existed uh, at that time. Modern Rosicrucians uh, have have this book, The Chemical Wedding, and the and the other the other uh, manifestos as as part of their lineage. But they also talk about their their teachings going all the way back to ancient Egypt and even even before that to a previous civilization. So uh, in the Invisible History of the Rosicrucians by Tobias Churton, he talks about how this book came to be published, which is very curious. On the cover here, it says, by Johann Valentin André. And Johann Valentin André was a Lutheran theologian in the 1600s. And he was involved in a, in a, a circle of writers, or a group of, of writers, of esoteric writers. And, and this has come to be known, the two, known as, as the Tubingen Circle. And this, this included Tobias Hess, who was, who was a Paracelsian doctor. And this also included Christopher. Christophe Besalt, and several other prominent authors and theologians of that time. And it, they, they had just gone through the Reformation of Luther, and, and at this time they thought that maybe further Reformations, especially of a moral nature, were necessary in society. And, and that's what the Fama and the Confessio and the, uh, and the Chemical Wedding talk about, or, or moral Reformation. And uh, so what, what I think is great is that, is that this book is now accessible to people. Um, you know, there'll be random people that walk into the big bookstore, pick this up off the shelf, and take it home. It's $11. And, and, and what I think is great is that I think many of the people that read this book are going to be intrigued by, by these different Rosicrucian and alchemical concepts. And I hope that that inspires them to maybe do some, do some reading about the Rosicrucians. Um, a, a great book to read about the history and mythology of Rosicrucianism by Christopher um, McIntosh. This is a great one. And, and of course, Rosicrucian History and Mysteries by Christian Rabis is a, is a great book that talks about some of these, some of the Rosicrucian history. So I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I have a lot of great related content. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace Profound and LVX.